Hi everyone, how's it going? Today I want to talk to you guys about running your business like a fucking queen. This is something that I'm super, super passionate about because I just feel like as a nonconformist and as an entrepreneur, this is something that I feel is so, so important. I feel like it goes beyond the funnels and the business strategies, all of the things that are really important. But in order to ensure that the strategies that you're executing are going to be in alignment, it's important to remember who you are because you, as a spiritual entrepreneur, you are monetizing who you are. So it's important to know who you are. Now, I am inviting a few of you guys and I'm not great at the multitasking thing like I really wish I was. It's just mm -hmm. not really something that has resonated with me. So just give me a moment here. I really, really wish I was a multitasker, but um, it's not necessarily one of my strengths. And that's okay. I'm I'm all about this. So I am just going to take some time to invite you all on here. Let's see. And as you guys jump on here, go ahead and say hello to me. I, I'm on my phone, so I don't always see everyone, like, the live thing jumps on and off, but it doesn't really give me all of the details. And so please say hello. All right, I feel like that's going to be good for now. Just give me one more second. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jamie. I'm a soulful intuitive coach and healer. I am also a spiritual nonconformist entrepreneur and I get paid to mindfuck my clients and accelerate their success. That's what I'm all about. And one of the big things that I feel I do the most, it's the most powerful, is I challenge a lot of pre-existing beliefs because I feel like there's certain things have operated for so long, but that doesn't mean that they're in alignment. We're continuing to evolve and grow. And as we remember who we are, we're spiritual beings here to have a human experience. Integrating that into our day-to-day -day lives and in our business is so absolutely important. Hi, Star. Hi, Sue. Thanks for jumping on. And so... I just really want to send a message to women entrepreneurs because business has been set up in a way that's very masculine and so I feel like that doesn't necessarily work for women and one of the things that I just think is so so important is to know who you are and to bring that into your business and what better way to do that than to connect with the truth that you're a fucking queen. You know for those of you guys who have followed me for a while I know that I've told some of you guys, I don't really resonate with the idea of being a queen, but here's the thing. The truth is the truth, whether you recognize it or not. And one of the things that I noticed is that I was believing the illusion more than the truth. And when I let that go, I realized it's like, mm -hmm. I'm a fucking queen all the damn time because that's just who I fucking am. You know, when you feel unworthy, when you doubt yourself, when you feel un unlovable, you're still fucking innately worthy. You're still lovable, right? These qualities still exist. A queen is a queen. Like, that is your birthright. It doesn't matter what's going on outside of you, you know, your bank account, your status, you know, whatever shitstorm may or may not be happening in your life or whatever amazing thing is happening in your life. You're not defined by these external factors. You're a queen because that's who you are and that's what you were born into. And it's important to leverage that because that's how you remember how incredibly powerful you are and you just allow yourself to be in the state of everything that is happening. One of the things that I'm not a huge fan of are labels because I feel like they're very conditional and they can trap us. And when we think of things in that way, I feel like we resist things that we consider to be disempowering and we 
we detach ourselves from that those labels or we try to reject them we ignore them we try to pre pretend that they aren't there and that holds us back but the truth is everything's happening for us and you are fucking powerful you're going to succeed whether you have doubts or not and when you realize this and you recognize that some of the little pesky niggly thoughts that feel a little disruptive like little ants that are kind of like you know showing up but when you start to realize that they're not an actual threat, you're gonna be a lot more accepting. And the thing is, anything that's happening is a benefit, it's just a matter of becoming a better observer in order to recognize that, right? So let me know if you're watching this and this resonates with you. I, I'm just, I'm such a huge fan of that because I want you to think about how different your life would be if you weren't told that something was negative, something was, wasn't disempowering. How are you going to show up? How are you going to respond to something? How are you going to witness and observe it, right? And so there's so many different things like with, um, I feel like what's been an incredible energy anchor for me is to run your business like a fucking queen. Because then you realize how powerful you are that you're not going to feel threatened and you're going to allow some of the things that are labeled disempowering to show up so that you can release them, so that you can transmute them and leverage them or, di di or dissolve them, whatever is to your highest benefit. But in order to grow, you have to accept and see things for what they are. And a queen mm -hmm. is daring, she's fierce, and she embraces life. As women, we are meant to be more emotional, more spontaneous. We have more connections between our left and right brain hemisphere. And I think this is really important to acknowledge and bring that into our business and into our day-to-day -day life. Now, um, part of, for me, running my business as a queen, running my, living my life as a queen means giving myself permission to honor and recognize my ebb and flow and establishing myself as the standard so I don't have to conform to something that exists outside of me that someone else said is a good idea. Now I implement some inspired ideas when it resonates with me, but I don't sit there and give more credibility and credence to something if it doesn't resonate. And before I start absorbing anyone else's ideas, wisdom and insights and personal experiences, I tune into what works for me first and foremost. I build on the platform that is me. The more you know yourself, the more successful you're gonna be. You want to accelerate your success, get to know yourself on a deeper level. This is what's going to really change your life in all of the most amazing, amazing ways. And as a woman, one of the things that I really want to encourage entrepreneurs is to really look at what ebb and flow works best for you. One of the things about business, aside from being masculine, is that it's seen as a marathon. And I'm, I don't resonate with that, and I'm gonna tell you why. Like, I know it goes against the pre-existing system that's worked for so long and still does work for a lot of people. Because as women, we are built differently. We have different flow because we have a menstrual cycle, right? And even after your menstrual cycle, there are these hormonal shifts that make us different. I've been saying this for so long and I swear one of these days I'm actually going to put it together. There's a program that I want to put together called Manifesting with Pussy Power. This is the way that I live my life. This is what I use in my business and virtually every aspect of my life. And it works so well because unlike treating something like a marathon where I have to conform to a race and I have to achieve that result regardless of how I feel because when you're in a marathon, it physically is painful if you stop because you're tired. So it's I feel like you're like forced to be in the flow of a marathon. And if you resonate with the flow of a marathon, that's great. I don't know about you guys, but I continually change. And as a woman, I've been biologically set up and created to have certain things that 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 work for me. And as powerful shapeshifters of reality, we can alter that. But I personally like to work with who I am as I am because it's better to work with yourself than against yourself. And it's a way that I leverage minimum effort, maximum results. And so what, um, and that means tuning into my body. There are certain times of the month 
when I'm the most active, when I'm the most inspired, when it's the best time for me to create content, launch programs and birth ideas. And then there are times when I'm literally created to be more negative. And I appreciate and I, I, and I leverage these things. When I feel the most inspired to create content, then that's when I focus on that stuff. And I get a month's worth of stuff done or even three months worth of stuff done in a matter of a couple of weeks. That to me is sprinting. It's not a marathon because what's important is the result. But you don't have to, you can choose what process resonates with you. And so I believe that the key for a woman to have a successful spiritual business is to tap into her pussy power and treat a business like a, like a sprint and leveraging when you feel the most aligned, practicing minimum effort, maximum results, because the amount of time you give yourself is the amount of time it takes to get something done. And if you have a short attention span, you have shiny object syndrome and it literally goes against your nature to try to force yourself to stay focused, you don't have to conform to that. And that's totally, totally okay. It's the thing is you're going to succeed. Like that's what you're meant to do. And you can do that through using someone else's system or using your own system. But what's easier to learn something new outside of you or to access everything that's already inside of you. You've had your whole life to get to know who you are. You understand what makes you tick, what things work for you, what your habits and your thoughts are. And you can use that to your advantage to work with yourself rather than against yourself. Because part of knowing that you can start right now, you're good enough right now, you can monetize and you can be successful offering what you like, who you are and where you are in your journey, which is going to be different from, you know, five months from now, five minutes ago is knowing who you are and leveraging that. And that means tuning into yourself more than conforming to something outside of you. I love choosing to be a sprinter because I get to choose when to start, when to stop, how long I want the sprint to be, how fast I want to move. And I, but the thing about a sprint is that I can stop anytime I want to, even if I don't finish the sprint to recalibrate and my body doesn't freak out over it. And I literally show up every day asking myself, what do I want? What do I feel is the most aligned for me? What do my clients want? What can I offer today? What are the benefits? And when you do this, you're, you're accelerating your success because you are showing up for yourself in the best way possible. You're showing up for your clients because you are being the most honest and authentic version of yourself. You're not, you're not having to pick something outside of you. And this is a huge, huge thing. And I really think start, it's like, why did you, why did you start your business? Did you do it so that you can conform to a marathon, to a race, something outside of you that says you have to start from here and end here. And if you're in pain or you want to take a break, that's not the best thing for you right now. Your body will lash out at you. Or do you want to, or do you want to have soulful strategies, trust your intuition, run your business like a queen and know that you get to show up as you are. Hi, Monique. And you get to continue to grow and build on that. This is why I'm such a, such a huge fan of manifesting with pussy power, tuning into what feels the most aligned for you, letting go of the labels that say that this is disempowering, this is positive, because here's the thing, even good things can be negative when it's misused. You know, people talk about how important it is to be happy, right? But if you're too happy, everyone's so busy being scared of being depressed that you forget. It's like, if, if you're super, super happy in an ex, to an extreme, that's mania. That's a chemical imbalance there too. Hi, Natalie. And so it's a lot of these different things. Stop looking at things as good or bad and start asking yourself what feels aligned and stop resisting the things that show up and actually observe it because rather than trying to control things, trusting that things are showing up is a much more empowered place to be in because for one thing, it's incredibly liberating. You don't delegate and drain your energy trying to control shit that you can't outside of you. 
and just learning to ride the waves. You can't necessarily make the ocean not um, be still, but you can use it as momentum. And the thing is, we are that ocean. So we don't have to, to stop ourselves. We get to be as we are. And this is how you run your business like a queen. This is how you accelerate your success to give yourself permission to be who you are, to allow these things to show up. Now, a lot of the things that I'm mentioning seem sort of esoteric. They're a lot of like energy healing, they're mindset work related stuff. And the reason why I'm emphasizing this isn't to just purely be woo woo, because although there's a place in that, it's so important to connect that so that it leads to practical application, right? You want the soulful strategies. But it, for me, doing it in an intuitive way that's in alignment is so important in order to make it sustainable. Because oftentimes what I see is that a lot of entrepreneurs will get success and then they crash, they dip. But here's the thing, the way to sustain your business, the way to be successful, the way to just continue rocking it is to be yourself because you've been yourself your entire life. You've been with yourself your entire life. You know yourself, you've hidden from yourself, but I mean, it's easier to be you than to be someone else. Hi, Naomi. And so it's not just about owning who you are. It's not just about the right strategy. It's not just about doing the energy healing, the mindset work, but doing it in a way that feels aligned to you so that it's sustainable, doing something that energizes you, knowing that you're going to do what's in alignment based on tapping into what you feel and what feels fucking amazing for you. Now, I know that not everyone that's going to watch this video is necessarily going to be thinking, I don't know, like the concept of being a sprinter in my business doesn't resonate with me. If running your business as a marathon resonates with you, then by all means do that. And if it works, it's going to energize you and you'll know that that is your process. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is that I feel like business has been set up in a way where there's, and not just business, but life is set up in a way where there's labels. Like in order to do this, in order to succeed, in order to get this result, you have to do it this way. And it's like, that's not true. When you want to get somewhere, you could walk there, you can bike there, you can fly there, you can Uber it, you can drive there, you can take a bus, you, you can, there are so many different ways. And it's just a matter of tuning into what's easiest for you. I love to make things mind numbingly easy, things that are so incredibly receptive for you that it's just a natural extension of who you are. That is the key to your success, really accessing that because that's going to lead to the soulful strategy. You have to know who you are. You have to show up. You have to be fucking honest with yourself. And I feel that running your business like a queen for women is going to be so huge because women collectively tend to hide and stay small. And I feel like the so many things like show up every day, be consistent and you, you know, all of these different things. It's like, I think what's important is to be consistent, to be fiercely dedicated to your soul and to trust and honor your process and choose things from an empowered place that's most in alignment. But the thing is, because business has been set up to be masculine, a lot of these things show up every day, all these different things. This works for men. It energizes them. And as a collective, men don't have as much of an issue staying small. You know, it feels good for them. But women are more emotional. We literally have more connections between our left and right brain hemisphere. There's this amazing book called The New Feminine Brain. The um, author is a Western medicine, a uh, Western um a medical doctor. She's also a medical intuitive coach. She's very much spiritual with a medical background and everything. And she studied the brain of women and she compared it to tr the traditional brain versus the modern brain versus um, a male's brain. And the correlation that she found is that women um, like nowadays have far more anxiety, have more connections between the left and right brain hemisphere because we are not just like having these traditional roles, but we're also in the business world. And so that shows me that trying to do things by running a business like a marathon, like men do, is straining us. It's stressing us the fuck out. We feel the strain. We feel the exhaustion. We get tired during our period. We need to break. We experience these things even in menopause because as women, 
we are meant to retreat at times. We are meant to do this. And honestly, I feel like this is actually an asset for me because I don't have to force myself, remember to pencil it in to, to reflect and go inward. My body will tell me when I'm on my period or it's about to start 10 p.m. I'm knocked the fuck out. I have the best dreams. I feel the deepest desire to journal more than any other time. I don't have to discipline myself to do these things and remember despite what's happening around me, whether I have time or not, my body will make that time for me. When you honor your woman's flow and you approach your life and your business in that way, so many incredible shifts happen because we are powerful shapeshifters of reality. We manifest the things that we focus on. And when you allow yourself to tap into that, you delegate and you are getting like you become a transmitter and you even the things that you didn't even think you were asking the universe and support and start to show up in your life because you were more tapped in. So I really encourage women to look at how you're running your business. Does it resonate with you? Does it feel good for you? Does it energize you? Think about how freeing it would be to to be more soulfully strategic so that you aren't dedicating so much time and energy to doing something because a marathon is being in this long-term, highly intensified state of stress, right? And it doesn't have as much flexibility, but women are extremely pliable. So using a system that, that allows us to work with who we are is so incredibly powerful. This is the reminder that I just wanna remind you guys of because it's important and and just remember that you're a fucking queen that is the biggest thing all right thanks so much for watching if you're watching the replay comment and let me know what your thoughts are have a beautiful day bye